Afternoon guys, James here. Something a little bit different this morning. I feel like a naughty school kid. I've snuck along to Limington Yacht Haven where the press and media have been on a sea trial back from Southampton Boat Show this morning on the new Ocean 156 and the Predator 55. And we're actually gonna join her on the run back this afternoon, hopefully out through the Needles Channel, see what the boat's like in some proper, typical UK South Coast waters. And then we'll be off back down to pool. Really excited to see what she's like. This will be the first time I've been on her. We obviously toured the boat at the boat show earlier in the week. Uh, but hopefully, we'll have to see, it's a pretty wet, miserable day here, so we might not be able to get the drone out. It is also pretty windy. Uh, but we're gonna do what we can. I'm not gonna show you too much of the boat now, because obviously we had a look at her a few days ago, but just see her up close and personal again here. Great to see what the handling's like with the new stabilizer systems and everything else. So we'll check back in a bit. Let's get on the water and see what she can do. Right, so just getting ready to depart the dock today. So we've got the Sunseek International test team on the boat, four of them today. And they're just getting ready, throwing lines. You can see we're alongside the fuel dock up here in Limington. Fairly strong wind, I'd say probably 24 knots, something like that. Bit of rain squalls around. So we're gonna see, hopefully we'll be out down the river here to open sea and then we'll do a right down the last of the Western Solent and then we're out hopefully through the Needles Channel up there and if the weather plays ball we might even try and get the drone out there. We've got uh, some of the journos still on board with us, we've got Alex from Maritime Filming, just see the drone going up there, he's going to do some manoeuvring shots here coming out of the port and we'll see the captain come upstairs in the not too distant future and he'll take over from the bridge up here when he's ready. For now, he's just down in the cockpit, so let's have a wander down. Here, this rust is whirring away. Horn sound. Fairly tight in here. Backing out off the fuel dock. Cheeky shot of Alex's screen there, so you can see the boat coming out. Charge of that. <laughs> Cameo here from Jack, of course, <laughs> Mr. Yacht Buyer. So they're going to have some really cool content in the next few days when they put that together. So you can see Nick here using the aft docking station to bring the boat out. And then when he's ready, he'll transfer up to the driving station upstairs. So we've just come out, made the turn around here. Rather tight, see a San Lorenzo SX-88 there alongside us for a bit of scale. And we absolutely dwarf that in terms of the volume up here on the flybridge. Yeah, got it, mate, got it. The captain's now taken over from up here. You can see just tuck ourselves out through last gap out of the marina and then we'll be in the main channel where it looks like we've got the sailing dinghies out for the afternoon. There's our fire just followed. And you can see just gently using the thrusters there. Let's get a view out of the port side door here so we've got a wing station here in certain circumstances It'd be quite handy as well as that control down the back scale on this just alongside us on the bridge here where we are in relation to height on the white link ferry there eight meters up to the top of the bay and we're almost at the bottom of the Limington channel here and we'll be able to get up and going right so we are downstairs on the main deck at the moment and the guys are filming upstairs I don't want to get under anybody's feet but I thought I'd just give you a view 
whilst we're underway. So let's sit down, let's pull a chair out. So you're absolutely in my eye line here. Look at what we get to see underway. So we obviously can see the horizon out the front boat staying very level at the moment because we're only running about 12 knots here down towards Hurst Castle. And you can imagine on a nice sunny day, just chilling out here, perhaps enjoying a meal, heading back into port with your crew setting up. You've obviously got the walk up bar here so you can come up and grab a drink here off the off the countertop or if this was the fifth cabin obviously if you're underway at night you're well up away from the water surface so it's pretty quiet we can't hear the water slapping against the hull at the moment now there's actually a vacuum seal on the doors here so once they're shut seal engages around the edge and that then gives us the weather protection out onto that four deck you see obviously we've got the cushions out because we're just trying to allow the guys to shoot some different angles on the boat and come back and have a quick look in the cockpit here lovely wake shot out the back yeah let's just have a have a sit down here obviously as we've said before there's loads of different seating and then table layouts and what have you back here but you can imagine a really nice just departing port day south france off perhaps to Mallorca. And you've got several hours steam ahead of you just really cool place to hang out you can now see we had this all folded away when we did the tour back at the show you can now see the big open aft deck and how that platform would allow you to put the williams on there and then the the jet ski here in behind it and then down the side a little bit more wind there to get a feel for it. these big overhangs don't have to give you some weather protection here And just a reminder of that flat floor that takes you all the way through from the cockpit here to the foredeck. Right, so for comparison to that aft cockpit, we're now up on the main, it's a private owner's deck. You can see all the crew up here. And this, for me, is the centerpiece of the boat because this is a private owner is where you spend so much time. You're away from the bustle, the quayside and everything down the back there. If you were just to sit out here, look at the view. all the way around it is pretty much panoramic and we have a chance to see what it's like up here once we really get up and going you see all the nav kit whizzing around up top there and obviously the doors slide across to allow you to run the aircon or heating depending on where you were to split off the two zones as required right so you have to excuse the wind noise because we're up on the front here but we obviously had a look around this at the show and you can see this really cool forward owner's deck up here. So we can sit up here. You imagine if we had a jacuzzi, perhaps some sunbeds around the edge, or you can see here, just have to imagine this on a lovely sunny day, how it would work. So we're running down, you can see the needles down there ahead of us. This is Hearst Castle here off on the right hand side. We're doing about 12 knots at the moment. The boat is almost dead at level no movement and the stabilizers are on you can see absolutely no side to side movement at all now i'm just going to head back in because the guys need to stow these cushions before we get out to sea and then we'll hopefully get up and away so up and running and i am delighted to say a little bit sketchy but we did get the drone out it's gusting 35 knots out here at the moment testing the boat really is and i'll just give you a view of what we're seeing out of the back here off the aft deck so that is a good two, two and a half metre swell. We've just been able to sit at 18 knots through the needles channel here, which was just about all I could do on sport mode with the drone punching into the wind. We're uh, wind over tide at the moment, so it's a little bit fresh here, but just to give you a feel of how those stabilizers are working. So I am almost eight metres up in the air here, and I haven't got the gyro stabilizer on, no gimbal fancy kit on the camera. Look how flat that boat is staying, considering the sheer volume of her, say with that wind over tide situation, it's absolutely rock solid. It is a fantastic boat, I'm so impressed. I'm really excited because these new Humphrey stabilizers that work alongside the active trim tabs are what's going into the first 94 yacht as well. And I'm really delighted also, you might as well announce on channel, I'm actually building that first 94 yacht for a client and we're gonna bring some more of the build process over the next two years on that one, together with you as we put her together from the design phase uh, through to the finished product 
So it's been really exciting just to see how good this is out here on an open sea. It's not how an owner would typically run the boat, if I'm honest, but it's great to see what it's capable of doing. We've taken a little bit of spray up onto the windscreen here inside. We'll go inside in a minute and just have a look at the, the running from the helm itself, but really, really impressed. And uh, so I'll share some of that footage now with you uh, off the drone as we've just been, say, running for the last few minutes here out on a proper south coast snotty sea. Okay, so here we are, drone safely off the upper deck and we're away. You can see the needles in the background there, yacht running around 12 and a half knots here and the steam still barely light. We're coming now, top down shot. You can start to see a few of the rollers starting to increase in size and it just plows through. Lovely top down shot there. At this sort of fast displacement speed, not quite planing, but effortless through the water. We now move on, we've got the shingles bank off to our right hand side, so we're entering properly into the needles channel now and it's really starting to snot up. You can see those wind over tide white caps all around us, hard to get a scale for those waves as we're such a large yacht, she just effortlessly cruises into it, right into that nose on. We've increased the speed now, we're running about 18 knots, which is about the limit I could achieve with the drone today. Fully sport mode, so I'm afraid it's a little bit jolty and you have to excuse, not the best flying. But great to see the different angles. We try and come round here just to see the boat from the nose and then running down the other side as well. You can get a bit of a better feel now of the rolling swells in the wake shot behind. And then we come in to a stern shot there, really showing that sort of ploughing into the head sea where the boat is so at ease. Now to finish off, I just cut in a few of my favourite shots from the day. I've got some lovely footage here, which hopefully we might use in some of the marketing in the future. Hard to pick a favourite, but for me, probably the top down shots is always a great one. And the spray pattern there off the bow. And that's me on the aft deck, safely recovered back on board. Let's continue the tour. Right, so it's really snotted up now. We're doing about 12 knots into the full head sea, giving the doors a proper water test, as you can see here. But the boat is absolutely dead level. Look at that, no stabilization on the camera. And it's sitting there pretty rock solid. So we've got a combination of the interceptor trim tabs. So they're adjusting themselves every millisecond to work in conjunction with the fin stabilizers. They're a meter in length, those fins, and they counteract the roll on the boat to give that dead level position. And then we've dialed in the interceptors as well. So as the speed increases, they'll adjust themselves to suit a profile on the boat, giving a combination of good fuel consumption, but also keep the nose down so that we use that full running length of the hull to give a really smooth ride. Okay, so Nick's just gonna run us up through the RPM so you get a chance to see how the fuel burn changes. So you can see individual engines here and then add that together for the combined liters per hour. And then we've got all the temperatures and pressures here. You'll see the speed up on the dashboard there. So 10 knots, which is a good sort of starting fast displacement speed. And then we'll slowly just work our way up so you can see running just under 100 litres an hour there. You can see still pretty poor visibility out here, so we'll keep an eye out for other ships and anybody else around us. Luckily we're in the lee now of the land and we should be able to do a nice little speed run here back towards the harbour. Okay, Nick, shall we take her up? It's 8 to 12 knots. So you can see we're about 180 litres an hour now and that for me is probably about the sweet spot for fast displacement speed for long distance passage making which would be about the most efficient speed for the vessel through the water, then it'll start digging a big hole. So really we need to come up now to a semi-planing speed, I would guess about 18 knots. 
we'll hear the turbo start to spool. But with those engines all the way down behind us, on the deck below, it really is very quiet up here. The wipers are probably the most noisy bit of the whole boat. We've obviously got the doors shut back there, so great for long distance passage. We've got the stabilizers on full, so we've got obviously a wind on the beam here. And you can see the active Humphrey system here. So this is the interceptor trim tab, so the blade's moving up and down. Very little need to move now that we're crossed current, but earlier on these were working oh, really hard. Control. Yeah. So we got that off at the moment just for your fingers. Okay. And you can see the fins working away here to hold the boat level on the beam. So we've come up now to about 16 knots and that's increased us to about 420 litres an hour. And let's take her up to maybe 2.2 uh, two RPM. The boat stays very level as obviously they've dialed in the system there so that it stays using the full length of the wetted hull underneath us. So we're now 21 knots, which is a fast cruise, I would say, on a yacht this sort of size, and we're up about 620 litres an hour. And then let's bring her up to a wide open. She really is effortless through the water. You don't get any perception really of the speed. See it's climbing up here. You have to make a turn in the middle. Okay. Yeah. Just let me know. And you can see the fuel burn there at the 100% load up the top. Ready for a turn? Okay. So you can see the boat gently banks over, we've still got the stabilizers on. Cool we'll see what smooth through the water still maintains their fully planing speed. And you'll see the speed start to pick back up again as we come out of the turn there. run out on the aft deck so you can get a feel yep. for what that's like. So here we are, 27 knots. We are flat, wide open trough. I don't want to come out from under the roof to spoil Alex's shots as he's taking some drone shots from different angles. But the boat is super, super impressive hard rudder over to starboard and we've still got a very very level view absolutely majestic through the water so we're going to leave it there for out here open sea and we'll join back in just as we come into the shipyards to finish off the tour right so here we are back into the Sunseeker shipyards down in pool what have we got in the water? Let's have a little sneaky peek. So we've got 55, 68 up the end there, 95 yacht. That is a rather racy 100 yacht there. We've got a couple of 55 Manhattans there. And then in front of that, looks like an Ocean 90 hiding behind the corner with maybe a 88 alongside it. So we've got a pretty full complement of boats in. And then it looks like there is another 100 yacht there in the dock. So these are dark black hulls. And this one's got the black, what we call, hull band. But we've got a white exposed area of 
GRP underneath and the one in the dock there is full black all the way down then it's got a white what we call a boot top stripe on that one so spin around captain's still driving from up here so using horn signals for his maneuvering the boat's now lit up in the dark so you can see look at these beautiful all around deck lights Let's head back down so we don't distract anybody up there shoes back on and we'll come out and watch the guys. So you can see we've just taken over, getting ready to take over here from the aft uh, docking station there and just coming up the front so you can see the lighting from up here. Look how cool that is. I love boats in the dark. They don't half look special. What a lovely view. I have to imagine this, say, on a slightly different day with the lovely weather, and you can see those 55s over there lit up as well with their grey hull bands. All right, so let's run back down here before the crew start doing lines. Don't want to get in their way. Nice not to be doing the boat driving this evening. I'll come back. So you can see, just taken over here. He's then got throttle and thruster controls here to bring the boat in alongside. So I'm just going to stay out of the way here whilst they bring her in. See this is the drop down seat that you could use here on the platform in the sort of beach club mode. You can see the tide is absolutely whizzing through here in the harbour. Are just going to bring us in, it looks like, alongside this 100 yacht. It's a very calm, collected, super, super experienced test team here. They've been working for Sunseeker for many, many years. That's nice and parallel, Alan. talking him in with the distances. And then we'll just come in alongside, kiss the fenders. So you guys are off, just sort their lines out. And there we have it. So that's all done. I'm going to leave it there this evening. Lots and lots of footage to sift through in the coming days. It'll be a really cool one to bring to you on the channel. I can't wait to do this one. As always, if you'd like to know more about anything in the Sunseeker range, please do get in touch directly. We can talk about bringing your project through to fruition, perhaps a stock boat, but hopefully we'll get you out on the water in the not too distant future. My contact details as always, it's james at sunseekersouthampton.com or the mobile is plus 44-7747-686-587. Hope you've enjoyed that with us. Let's see it there for this evening. See you soon.